One of the most effective types of propaganda that comes from white nationalists, white supremacists, and their apologists, as well as grifters, is where they piece together a montage of different clips from people of a particular demographic, a demographic they want to portray in a negative way, doing and saying terrible things. It's more effective for these people than any motto or mantra or meme could ever be. It's like watching a train wreck. It's like watching footage of car accidents. You can't keep your eyes off it once you start watching the footage. It sucks you in. And every time I see this kind of footage, it makes it harder and harder for me to not judge a demographic based off of these types of stereotypes that are shown in the montage. And that is the goal of that type of propaganda. It's to get people to view a particular demographic in a negative light. This kind of montage used to be all over YouTube. By 2015, most of those types of videos were completely wiped off the platform. This year, in 2020, they wiped even more of those types of things off the platform. They now use AI to try to guess that type of content. But this type of content can be found all over smaller video sharing sites. And they are often in the top trending videos on those sites. I've talked in the past about how important it is to allow people to state their views on these platforms even when their views are downright horrible. Because if we don't allow for that, those types of viewpoints will just stew on the smaller platforms and they won't receive any sort of pushback. But realistically, what kind of pushback could someone possibly see for these montage videos? I mean, people making response videos where every few seconds they stop the footage to say, this is not a representation of these demographics as a whole like a warning or something, and it just say that every few seconds? Do you think anyone would want to watch that? Would it change the minds of anyone? Wouldn't it just be helping the people who made the original montage to begin with because people are still seeing the footage, regardless of all the little things that someone interjects into it? This is not a representation. So it leaves me with a conundrum regarding the values and principles I try to stand by. I mean, since that type of propaganda montage is so powerful, and there's no real way to have a retort against them, should that kind of content be allowed on these big platforms? I mean, as it stands, it's not allowed on YouTube. So I continue to debate myself as to whether YouTube's decision to ban that type of content is something that I agree with. So, how do you feel about this? Should it be allowed on places like YouTube, or is this a reasonable line to be drawn? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.